Bartons! Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. For tonight, we dine in hell! How's it going, YouTube? Parasitic Generation back with you today to do a video on my EDC for the summer of 2019. Now, I live in the great state of Texas, so it, it, it gets to be about a million degrees with humidity. Um, so it's really fun. Um, I'm a general contractor by trade, so I'm outside most of the time. Sometimes I do stuff inside, but a lot of, a lot of work outside. So it get really hot, and I don't like to carry a whole bunch of stuff with me. Uh, I carry a lot of stuff in my vehicle, um, but this is what I usually have on me. Now, uh, first off, what I carry every day is sunglasses, just cheap $5 sunglasses. I got to have them. Because I'm a white boy and I have blue eyes, okay? And my eyes are sensitive to extreme light. And if I don't have these out in the direct sunlight, I'm blind as a bat. Um, that's just how it is. Um, got my keys. You need those for entering your house and your car. Pretty much standard stuff. Um, my knives that I carry. I carry three knives on me at all times. Um, some people might think that's extreme. Uh, I do not because I'm parasitic generation. That probably doesn't mean much to most people, but yeah. Um, what I carry is this right here is actually my tree to see. Um, I almost never take this off. Even when I shower, that might be stupid to some people, but um, never take this sucker off except for this uh, EDC video. Um, you can see I got paint on the end of this. But uh, this is just a little cheap Intec, little cheap stainless steel neck knife. Um, good little get off me poker. You can do it in a bunch of different ways. Okay, this is just a lashes ditch little blade. And it actually comes in handy for opening boxes and stuff. These sides aren't too um, sharp, but that point is uh, wicked and... Uh, um, I can. I like to draw it. If I ever had to draw it, it would be with my left hand. Um, but yeah, that's always on me. Super light. So even when I'm asleep, and this is around my neck, call me crazy. Um, then I got the F and Growl Strider clone. I forgot the actual designation of this. Um, this is a Strider clone. And made by F and which is a Chinese company. Um, uh, I love this knife. I love the design of the Strider. I can't really afford a Strider, so I went with this. This is a thirty-dollar knife. Has an orange backspacer. It's plastic, um, but it is what it is. It's a beautiful knife. D two. I don't know if you can see that right there on the blade. Probably not. D two. I love the grind on this knife. It's a very good work knife. Um, big knife, five inch handle, three and a half inch blade, jimping on top um, to get good um, purchase with your thumb. What I love about this knife is a finger choil up front. You can get a really high grip on this knife and do some very fine tasks and work with this beast. Lockup is solid. It is. Like, it's a drop point, but it's also a spear point. I really, you know, it's a cross between that, in my opinion. Uh, leaf bladed, leaf style shaped blade. Okay, I love the bevels on this sucker. Came relatively sharp. I touched it up a little bit. Right now it's pretty dull because I've been using the crap out of it. And, uh, yeah, it's a liner lock. Very good blade. Um, so I carry that. And I also carry this Medford Praetorian clone. It's a big beast of a knife. It's actually um, not too heavy because I'm a big man. And I can carry something like this without feeling fatigued all day. Okay. Just love that knife. That's also, this was a $23 knife and it's rock solid. Love that knife. Okay. Now... We've all seen this this firearm. This is my Ruger EC9S. Um, I've done a couple videos on it. One showing after, uh, what it looked like after a thousand rounds. 
Um, I really don't know what round count I am at right now, but it's a lot, okay? And, and you know what? I've only had two malfunctions, and that's awesome for me. Um, I carry it with the nine-round ra nine extended magazine for a full purchase, okay? And uh, we're going to take the magazine out, and we're going to show that we are clear so people don't pee their pants because apparently that scares them okay but that's what i carry uh every day because it's light and reliable and it's very accurate even though it has forged in sights um i can get really good shots on target with this and the trigger on this is amazing um what i carry for my firearm um is federal right here 138 grain synthetic jacket hollow uh, synthetic jacketed hollow points called synthetic defense very good ammunition if you're wondering what it looks like here it is right here you know it doesn't look like much um and it looks like one solid piece which it kind of is but it's uh, soft lead covered in a synthetic jacket. I've seen tests on this. Go, go look at tests on this ammunition right here. And you'll see that the um, this opens up kind of like a rip round. I don't know if you ever saw those rounds. But it breaks into a little tiny, bunch of little tiny pieces. Goes off in their own little channels. And the base of the round keeps going. So you get high energy, um, massive dumps of energy, and good penetration. And that's what I want. And I and actually, I like the 138 grain because it's smooth. It's reliable in my firearms that I've put it through. And what I like about it is it has low muzzle flash. Okay? It's, it's, it's very clean ammunition. Okay? Um, it the barrel and the gun itself after shooting this ammunition is actually really clean it doesn't dirty it up at all and I really like that um, so and it's very accurate in my firearms so that is what I carry and the reason I also like it is that at Walmart I've been picking this up for eleven dollars a box of 20 and in, in my opinion that's a very good price for this ammunition and what it can do now I always carry a backup magazine and in the backup magazine, I have seven rounds of Federal Guard Dog, 105 grain. Uh, this stuff flattens out pretty well, really good. I like this stuff too. So that's what I carry. I carry Federal. Uh, there's a lot of good brands out there, but for right now, that's what I'm carrying. Let me know what you think in the comment section below on my EDC for the summer of 2019. Like my granddad used to say, violence is the last resort of the thinking man. Only a fool would refuse to face the facts when it becomes an option for life. Y'all stay armed and safe. Peace.